<laughs> uh, let's air our grievances here. Uh, we've been having nice fights most of the day, but let's just let it all out here. Uh, Burt Breer, Ted Johnson, Matt Castle, and Michael Holly. We're going to uh, ask DJ Bean to be a part of this, too. Uh, all right. It's the airing of grievances. It's that season. Uh, for you Seinfeld fans out there, you know what that means. So uh, what do you guys want to complain about? It could be NFL-related. Uh, it could be show-related. Uh, I, I <laughs> can I just start off with it? Yeah, go, can go, I go for yeah, it? Yeah, Michael. I think it's really unfair, and I, and I know maybe I'm being a little sensitive about this. I think it's unfair that DJ Bean has this long intro for Ted Johnson. It gets longer every week. It's, it's probably like five-minute intro for Ted Johnson. He's in last place with his prediction. <laughs> he is in last place. His prediction stinks. Second to last, And yet I DJ think. gives him this grand poetic intro. Wow, we, got, we had some, like, strife on the but, set here. I, I, yeah. feel, I feel some kind of way about it. Uh, <laughs> and, and, like and, you it. know, and the rest I, of us are just kind of like I bums. give DJ yeah. a ton of love and respect for, for the intros initially to start the season. And so DJ appreciated that, and so he likes to, you know, Give me a nice introduction. Stay tuned for Toss Talk. It's a that's novel. Right. It's a novel. <laughs> uh, it, but uh, that's all I want to say. Anything that's it? You, you guys want to complain you know, about anything? Um, what do you got, Matt? I've got a few. You know, like Holly here steals my pin every single week. This oh, literally oh, oh, is no, the no, first no, no, time no, 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 no. he's ever stolen my pin. No. Ted here, no. right before the segment starts, likes to heavy breathe. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a frustration thing. Don't ask. No. Nope. Don't ask. Bert nope. is the ultimate name dropper. Oh, yeah. Every oh, yeah. time he's like, I've got to get off because I've got to go talk to Lamar Jackson or Joe Namath or, you know, John Elway because we're about to have lunch tomorrow. <laughs> DJ, nah, just in general, I love you. So, I mean, I just, those are a few of my okay. general complaints. Uh, so, uh, this is the pin. This pin right Right here, the Uniball Vision Elite Pen. Those are great pens. These are. This is my pen of choice. I spend a lot of money on this pens. Is here we go. This is commercial. This is coming Matt Castle me. and Burt Breer. He's coming. For I me. have hardly any of my Uniball uh, pens anymore because you guys are still? always borrowing. No, no, that, that might be him. I'm gonna, I'm that gonna might be you. I'm a, I'll, that might be I'll, I'll fall on the sword for that one. I'm amazed at, 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 that you guys come unprepared every uh, single week with your pens. I'm a big pen thief. Besides that, I have a grievance. It's very personal. Obviously. Another one. Just can we just sign Tom Brady up to a contract so we don't have to be talking about his future here I like anymore? I kind of like, just give him his I money. like talking about it. Just talk. give him yeah. his money. So DJ, I know you, DJ, I know you got something to complain about. My, my thing is you can't make a single observation about Tom Brady and how he's playing this season without somebody throwing back at you, but he's the GOAT. You think I don't know that he's the greatest quarterback of all time? He's not having a Tom Brady-like season. He's the greatest quarterback of all time because he's played at a very, very high level that he's not playing at right now. So when you say that Tom Brady's not having a Tom Brady season, you're not saying Tom Brady hasn't won Super Bowls. You're not saying Tom Brady hasn't won MVPs. You're saying Tom Brady doesn't look like Tom Brady right DJ, now. I think it's, Enough I, with the GOAT I, talk as a counter-argument. CJ, I think it's unfair for you to come for Danielle Trotto when she's not here to defend I know, it does sound yeah, it's a little <laughs> passive aggressive. <laughs> you did, you did, you just go ahead and say her name. You uh, do it sometimes, too. You uh, and Danielle are the, the leaders in the clubhouse. Okay, sure. I do it all the time. Shout out Tom. All the only time. one on my side. Bert, you well, got I could, I could just uh, get on DJ. I think he's the scorekeeper on Toss Toss. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That not, I, I, but, I, but I haven't held back on that one, so I'm going to go after <laughs> Dak Prescott the, Twitter, ass. The, 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 the Twitter scientists on like what constitutes cheating and what different levels of cheating oh. there are and everything oh, yeah. else yes. and, yeah. and like look like it's like it's like if you were in elementary school and you got into a fight and you told the principal well i just hit him in the arm i didn't punch him in the face i could have but i didn't i just punched him in the arm and that doesn't really hurt if you look yeah. at the muscles in the arm the way they're set up like didn't really get anything out of it like it's it, it, oh like, that's so true that's a great you know point. exactly you know oh. exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> right. so really, true. well they didn't really get anything out of it and like they if you look at, and they lecture you yeah, they wind yeah. up lecturing if you, you, if you, yeah, yeah. If you look at it if you know football yeah. and you look at the oh, sideline yeah. yeah. if you know yeah. football and i know yeah. football you look at the sidelines there's really nothing yeah. You could have gotten out of it. That's they pointed a camera yeah. at the sidelines. You're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's against the rules. I, that bugs me too, man. Way to go, Bert. Yeah. It's just uh, unbelievable how people do Twitter it. scientists. Twitter so, scientists. This is and the best surprising, talk surprising, segment Surprisingly ever. enough, it's the same people who had a lot of air pressure information in 2014 <laughs> who knew a lot about PSI. Yes, you know, exactly. A lot of people that knew a lot about like photographer's vests in 2007. Oh. So... Very, very it's, it's like the rules good. of the rules. That's what I try to teach my kids. I try to teach my kids, hey, 
Like, here are the rules. Right you break wrong. one, and, yeah. and your you're kids say, "Listen, I didn't, Dad, I didn't get anything out of it." Okay, <laughs> uh, give me a break. Give me a break. How can I get an advantage here? Come when on. I was eight, when I was eight, yeah. I used to use those excuses. Yeah. I mean, then I you become too. an adult. But you heard yeah. a lot of this uh, during the, uh, the 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 this. <laughs> the flake gate thing, like, well, you know, like when you get in your car this time of year, the little air pressure signs, that's what happened. It was the it's ideal amazing. gas law. You ever get the All low right. tire alert? Yeah, there, 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 <laughs> every winter. 